what works. Once that you already have your image and you know that you want to have this here, you see? It's going to copy the positive to the vision in positive, but you have to create a negative. So the negative will be here. This will be the negative. So you have to create a positive to transfer a negative and the negative to positive again. So that's basically the process. How we do that? We have this acetate, positive, and then we use this, this uh, solution. They call the acid for emulsion, but it's a for emulsion. It's the same technique that you see with paper, photographic paper. The same technique. So what you do is, you don't open this here because there's a lot of light and you can damage the, the solution. You see the color green? That's the color that it has. So what I do with this solution is I spray the solution in a dark room. It doesn't have totally, doesn't have to be totally black, but in a dark room, with some little light, to be able to see. I spread that product in one in each side of the screen. So I use also this thing. You see this thing? So that's a spreader. So I use this. To And that presses the ink through the little holes. Exactly. What it does is spread the, the solution in equal parts. So that's what I do first. In a, in a dark room, I spread the solution one side, the other side, and I leave this for some minutes until it's dry. Do you, are you following me? Yeah. All right. So once it's dry, I know it's dry, I, am, I have like two places. The dry, the, the, the the place that I will, will work with solutions and the dry place. And all of these things I have to work in a dark in a dark environment, not that many lights. Then once that, it, that this is uh, dry, I will, I'm going I go to the to the place that I'm going to do the impression. So what I'm going to do is transferring or I'm going to put I'm going to is putting this here. So you see I did work. So I put, I put this here. The solution is already there. And I have to use a light, a light bulb. What I did, I used a 250 watts light bulb. And I placed the light bulb 15 inches from this thin screen. There are many measures to do this, it's depending on the, of the power of the light. So if 250 watts is different than 150, and the distance. How it works. If you have 250, it will be here. If you have uh, 150, it will be closer. And also the time. How much time I leave this light uh, uh, here. So, in this case, it's a 250 wa watts for 10 minutes at 15 inches. That's like the formula. So you just put this here, turn the light, and you put a chron chronometer. How do you say chronometer? Yeah, and you just wait for the f for the ten minutes, and uh, you turn off the light. You then take this out. You go to your sink, and you start to clean everything with water, running water, running water. And what's going to happen is that because you put this here, the light work impressed all the places, all the areas without anything, but the light didn't do anything in the places that were covered. Mm -hmm. So what happens is when you remove this, the water will remove all these places, will remove the solution of all the places that you didn't have anything in place. So that's how, at the end, you have all these places sealed. You know the word sealed? Yeah. And nothing will happen. And all these areas open. And then you just wait that this is dry, and it's ready. Once this is dry, it's ready. Because now, when you will use the, okay, this is the fabric ink, special for fabric, for this material. So you need a special fabric ink. What, what's going to happen is, and I will give you this example, you, you can do this also with paper. So you have here this, 
You have the paper in white, right? Put it white. You just try to be, uh, try to put it in the right place. You need two people to do this. You cannot do it by yourself. You need two people. So if maybe I can use your help. Okay. This is not the best setup, but okay, I, we want to show them. Yeah, two, two of you. So some of you need to start. And the other one will be you, will be spread. <laughs> exactly. Just like that. So if you try to do it by yourself, it will be complicated to do both things. You need to use, use both hands. Thank you. Especially with that. If you're going to do this, you need to do it. Ah, tell me again, please. Yep. Try to put this here. And I, somebody, one hand here and the other one here. And then I have to do this. Okay. Maybe one more, and you have to try different times to see if it's going to work or not. Sorry, <laughs> and that's it. And then when you take this out, you have this thing done. And the good thing is that you just take one and one and one, and then you will create as many as you want. And that's it. So you just have to leave this to dry. With t-shirts, you need to to iron t-shirts after you do it. You need to print it. You need to leave them dry and then you iron them in one in each side. And that's simple. And you just have to try to be organized in, to avoid like uh, leaks or things like that. So if you want to make t-shirts, you don't need to have an uh, an art printed. And actually sometimes you can find companies that they will do this for emulsion process for you. So you just give them the art in computer and you and you buy then the the silk screening and then you just have, have you can have this and you only thing is will be just printing using the ink and print so that's it and then the good thing about this is if you're an artist you're interested you can promote yourself using your own clothes or whoever wants to create anything you can use your own clothes your own logo and you can make it by yourself and it will be cheaper rather than sending and you can create different styles also you can work with different colors so you can have this color and then you can print another different color. So that's it. So another thing is that, okay, that's it. Yeah, because uh, another thing I, I have this here. This I, I, I send this, this is the original that I send it it's around here. You have to here. promote yourself, right? Isn't yeah. that the whole idea? How do you promote yourself?